Like, I failed a lot at... Hold this. Now snuggle with it. <laughs> Why would I want to snuggle with this It's way? a Norgakuga! Oh. It's freaking adorable! <laughs> Anyways... Oh yeah, you sorry. want him spamming in DD? Yeah, pretty much. Uh... Uh, tournament discussions. Thank you. <laughs> nice try. Not in my group. <laughs> <laughs> they will steal that. HNGP Poilu. Also, I'm here. Should I post in Colorado PR or Smash? Probably Alrighty. Okay. okay. Uh, do you know who these players are? Mentioned? Yes, I, am not, I am not commentating. I do. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Hats, and I'm sitting here commentating by myself because I am a monster. And, um, hold up, we're gonna get, uh... So who are these players playing the Oh, so... Well, I can't... I'm gonna try and see, but we're trying to get the stream set up working. So, on one team, we have Sephiroth and Poilu from Random Places. Palu is from France, Zephyrus from Massachusetts, against Arcana and CO Joe, both from Colorado. You all know and love them, probably. Well, this is Steven's stream, so probably not. But they're, but they're pretty cool guys. Um, so far, our blue team is only in not a by a ton. Uh, I'm at a commentary, so I am just going to be here to just monitor things on the stream and, well, do my own double sets. Yep, uh, yep. Peg, if you're watching, I suggest you uh, advertise, etc. Yep. It's just Peg Thaniel. I love you, Peg Thaniel. Alrighty, but I actually need to get this going. Okay, stop it, Steven. I need to look at the stream. <laughs> or OBS, whatever. Just give me some feed that I can look at. Well, isn't this delayed? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we are officially ready to begin my. I know. Steven's freaking out about the stream. Meanwhile, we just got some sick matches going here. Blue team has actually got quite a bit of dominance. I think it's mostly been from stage control. They've been able to keep red team fairly separated. And even like in situations like right here, center stage. But red team's trying to fight back, We're trying to get back into it. That was a really nice back air from Sep. Oh, probably still had his jump. So now red team with the advantage. Can they keep it though is the question. Momentum can shift easy in doubles, but if you're not able to keep it, then it doesn't really mean anything. The momentum in doubles is pretty much all about stage positioning. Paul is still living to 132% from ZS's. Oh, and there it goes. Um, let's see if Sephiroth can recover. Probably going to wait to help his friend. Oh my gosh! Oh, it didn't quite win it. It was a very sick assist by Paulu. So, Lucario has definitely quite a bit of trouble trying to make 2v1 comebacks. Um, we'll see what he can do going in right now. A lot of really tricky movement, trying to keep them separated. Gets grabbed though, this could be, oh, this could be bad. Oh, there was this very nice SDI to get out of that. Showing some experience in the matchup. This could be death though, yep. Oh wow, living at 90%. Very close though, if any grab by DK is gonna equal death or just a very simple ledge setup. 
And blue team takes game one. Very solid performance on Smash. Bill. But now we go to the counter pick game. And as far as what I like to see at a red team, ZSS can cover a lot of ground and DK covers a lot of space. The team composition is good for that sense. Separus, well, sorry, Ivysaur is pretty good at walling, so they may want a slightly larger stage, but then that would also kind of gimp Lucario a little bit. But it would also give him a chance on the larger stage to spread out a little bit more and would allow them, Lucario to get some more of his um, more intensive com combos. So I suspect probably a larger stage would be good for them. Um, probably not Dreamland though, because DK and ZSS, get, and ZSS give massive recovery boosts on those, those stages. Seems like our players are discussing strategy at na right now. And maybe a possible character switch. Ooh! Seeing Separus coming with the Charizard. My boy. Oh, actually gonna stick with Charizard in Final Destination. Large stage, like we said. Sorry, a little bit not as good as walling out, but a little bit better. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Neutral start. Red team immediately takes stage positioning. Blue team's gonna try and switch. Oh no! Palu SD is a very early percent. That's not gonna help him for the rest of this match. And Sephiroth's having a hard time getting back on stage. Good poke by Zard to kind of get them switch. This could be trouble for him though if he can't recover. Team Palu go out to try and help Sep a lot. And Kojo and Arcana are taking advantage of that because well, they're together and one of them's always vulnerable. Ooh, that might have been death for somebody. Not sure which. Nice hit by Follow to end Kojo's first stock. Good anti air by your cannon. Actually, hit both of them. That was rather surprising. Though, Charizard loses his first stock. Red team are down one stock. Almost two at this point. Kojo going in, getting a nice jab reset into a forward air. Lots of damage. Just trying to keep Zard off stage. Might go under the stage. No. DK with that very nice recovery is able to just kind of plow through whoever he needs to get back on stage. Blue team now with severe stage positioning. Ooh, Arcana gets gimped though. That's rather rare for him. Blue team up two stocks now. Red team has to get some more stage control. I like to see a little bit more kind of team focus from these two players. It kind of feels like they're both just kind of trying to do what they can as opposed to having a set goal. There we go. Paulo coming with the assist for Sephiroth. Nice one. Sephiroth has got to start blocking those nares. Kojo's getting away wa far too much. Good counter by Paulo. Oh, nice. Team combo sending Arcana off stage. Red team now with stage positioning. If they can keep it. Nice. Still kept it. Oh, that was very close. Good spot. Good air dodge. Oh my gosh. Nair. Oh, Zard getting messed up. Oh, it gets hit into it. Zard being a big body character does have the problem in teams of really getting hit a lot. Very good by Joe knowing to try and get with a reversal option. That was a nice recovery by Sepris, using his glide attack to get a little extra distance. Good DI on the throw so he's not going to be able to get out. While they're trying to keep DK off stage but blue team still has stage positioning. It doesn't matter at this point. Share stock. Follow coming in. Follow trying to recover. Oh my gosh! That F smash was ridiculous. Fun fact, that F smash has about the same knockback as DK's fully charged giant punch. Ooh, nice footstool of Arcana. Zard has a very tough time getting out of that. Requires good DI and SDI. Gojo keeping him off stage. With this ledge set up. Oh, nice. Very strong glide attack to get through that. Oh, he saved him. This will be very tough to make back. I don't think he can do it, but we'll see. F tilt, and that's game. Game goes to Arcana and Kojo, clean 2-0, fairly. I think it was a three-stock, four-stock. Very clean game.